hello everyone and welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while but I'm back with a new video today I will be fixing my recreation of my Roblox character for my birthday I got a few Robux and I changed my appearance quite a lot I also reinstalled some mods and changed my background First things first, I'm doing the skin details and also I'm changing the skin tone. Now that I look back at my character, I think it's very light. Now, as you can see, I have five columns, but a tiny bit of it is kind of like off the screen, which I don't know how to fix, but now I can just look at all my CC at one time and I don't have to scroll through it. I will be coming out with a CC creator video soon because I found a lot of new creators while getting all this CC and I just wanted to share them with you. I found such a talented creator called Praline. I downloaded most of their eyebrows and I was scrolling through their page and it was just amazing. You should really check them out. I might put the link to their website in the description of the video so please check them out. I saw they did a lot of eyebrows so I just downloaded all of them because they were so good. It really took a long time to choose eyebrows for my sim since there is so many and there's so much variety, there's so much talent. It's just really hard to find uh, eyebrows that suit this sim because basically all of them could work in some way. Sooner or later I found some amazing eyebrows that really suit her. Next thing I was going to do is the eyes. I really like these alpha eyes because they look very realistic and I love matching Max's match with alpha CC it just really looks nice and gives the character or sim just like a balance between it's a game but I'm still trying to make it look realistic. Most of the CC in my game are from my previous mod folder but obviously I deleted some but I kept some because I found it very useful for my other sims and I really liked them so I kept them. I have so many presets and I found these amazing lips. I can't remember who they're from but these lips are amazing and I just love them so much. I use them in almost every single sim I make now and I'm thinking of just downloading sliders for the lips now because that's going to make it easier to recreate these preset lip lips and yeah. I found this adorable blush by Sim Andy. It is really fantastic. I really use it on every single Sim because it just gives definition to the face and I don't really know how to explain it, but it just really works with every single Sim and just makes it look nice. Now my Roblox character has kind of messy hair so it took a very long time to choose a hair since I, basically almost every single one has like strands out which I love but it's really hard to choose. Um, I was going for a mullet because I do have a mullet inside Roblox but I don't use that often so I stuck with just like a fringe and kind of medium hair. The reason it took so long to pick a outfit is because most of the CC that I had was new and I just got it so I was just checking it out. I got a lot of alpha ones 
but most of them did not fit with my sim. I thought it would, but it really didn't. So, yeah. It took so long to do the outfit, and soon I settled on this jumpsuit. It usually has like a logo saying juicy on like the back but I guess not on this one so I just stuck with that since that's the only one that I could really see my Roblox avatar re wearing so I chose that I changed her hair again because obviously I didn't like it. It really looked very weird. Um, yeah, it was just not it. So I, as I said before, I went for a medium hair with a fringe look, which took me a long time to find because I have so many medium hair stuff. So yeah, it took very long. I gave her this mascara and some new eyelashes I got from Dream Girl. She does amazing eyelashes, like really good. And since I can't buy those eyelashes that almost every single Sim CC creator has, I can't get those because it's not like on a secured website. I can't get those, so I just improvise and get the ones I can get. I tried to put earrings on her but I really didn't think they looked nice on her so I quickly removed them but obviously it took me a while to figure that out like it wouldn't suit my sim because in my avatar it doesn't have earrings. I just changed a few things and now we're done. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the end result. I really did. So please subscribe, please like, and I might be doing the same thing for my friend Agent24583, doing a recreation of that, or I might just move on to another person. So please stay tuned because I will upload soon. Thank you for watching and bye.